They're pumping the water out of the crawl space. We had a couple little lakes underneath there where the dirt had been pushed aside and pushed up towards the actual outside wall of crawl space to uh, keep water out. But that was probably what they did in the old days. So these guys are gonna fill with dirt, gravel, and plastic. They placed three beams where the floor was sagging. And kind of jacked the house up a little bit to make it the one bedroom floor more level. These guys are the experts. Okay, guys are on a break. I thought I'd sneak down here and see what's going on here. They just, they got here this morning and uh, they're moving stuff down here. Um, looks like they've already put Start putting in one of the beams, and they're on concrete blocks there. They've got they've got these uh, holes here to put more concrete pads. Um, the interesting thing is, if you look right through there, they got the barrels. Back in the 1900s, they'd stack up rocks and fill a wooden barrel full of concrete, and that would hold the beam up. And that looks like that beam was probably chopped out of a tree. Um, you can see it's a mud fest down here. And uh, we had a lake down here for the longest time. The, the brick there, I guess that's a fireplace. And uh, let's see, what else? There's a sewer, got the old cast iron going out to the sewer. Put the PVC all up to that. Um, yeah, just uh, a mud fest down here. So they've got a truck coming, it's gonna be uh, bring in a load of dirt and then a load of gravel. They're going to have this, make it all level, fill it all in, uh, put plastic down, gravel, and we're going to have a dry basement. So let's look over. Let's look over here. This this isn't quite as bad. This is a newer addition. Um, I guess my headlamp is lighting it up. Got to come up here and clean up, clean up some wiring, and. Uh, we don't have a lot of the support we need on some of these floor joists. Um, and we need to, because we've got soft spots on the floor, so we got to get that done. Um, anyway, so that, that doesn't look too bad there. But uh, this is just amazing. 120-year-old house. So I need to get out of here. The smoke break's about over. And uh, we'll get some more videos here soon. So they're going to take about two weeks to do this. These are the forms that they're going to be pouring footings um, for to support the three new beams that they're putting in. And went ahead and had them load the concrete in the garage here, um, keep it out of range for the start. So everybody's getting ready to get things rolling. Everybody's down there getting set up. There's old barrels of old concrete that they used back in 1900 to prop up the, the beams. So they're going to take that out and they're going to get that all fixed. They've got to replace three beams. And uh, this house is going to be back to its original glory of having no slanted floors. So this is really good.
is like the worst washing machine ever. They got a concrete mixer in here. He's just mixed up a little less than a five gallon bucket and he's gonna pour it down the ramp. They're gonna catch it in the buckets down. Let's see how that goes. You ready for How much more? There's your half a bucket. You want it that consistent? Yeah. You guys got their work cut out. Uh -huh. I think those little barrels full of concrete. Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay, great. They are kind of... Yeah, interesting. That's how they did it in A brand new concrete mixer bit the dust and had to do it by hand. These guys are amazing. So Russell, how long you been doing this? Yeah, just yeah, your business. Thirty something. Thirty something years. Man knows long what he's doing. I ought to be filthy rich and retired. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm just filthy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, it's a fabulous retro's coming down the road. Where is Turner? 